This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. It is uh, five past seven. Our main news this morning, Oprah Winfrey stole the show at the 75th Golden Globe ceremony with a rousing speech which brought the audience to its feet and has set social media alight with calls for her to run as president. Well, female empowerment was a theme of the first major film awards since the sexual harassment scandal hit Hollywood as stars turned out in black to stand against discrimination of women in every industry. Our correspondent Ross King is on the red carpet at the NBC after party. Uh, Ross, uh, it was all supposed to be about women wearing black. It turned out to be about a very famous black woman who may now run for president. Absolutely. It, my, my dear friend and colleague here from NBC, Robert Kovacic, would just tell me that he bumped into uh, Oprah and said to her, you know you're training on Twitter, you know, it's saying that you're going to be president. She went, very interesting, and then moved on. I think that's the way that we should take all this at the moment. But it certainly was. It was an incredible rousing speech. As you said, we're here at the NBC Universal Party. Uh, the party really getting going. Justin Timberlake is in there. Saw him on the dance floor earlier on. But as you say, it was all about what people were wearing. But the interesting thing on the red carpet was people weren't asking the question, who are you wearing? They were saying, why are you wearing it? One of Hollywood's most colorful events, draped in black. Women's right activists joined the stars in the red carpet to highlight the Time's Up movement. Host Seth Meyers opened the show by trying to lighten the mood. For the male nominees in the room tonight, this is the first time in three months it won't be terrifying to hear your name read out loud. <laughs> A big night for TV series Big Little Lies taking home four gongs. Oprah Winfrey, honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award, received a standing ovation. When that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women fighting hard to make sure nobody ever has to say, me too, again. Lady Bird took home two, including one for actress Saoirse Ronan. A brilliant night for the Brits, Ewan McGregor winning for Fargo, Martin McDonough for Best Screenplay for Three Billboards, and Best Actor went to Gary Oldman in The Darkest Hour. Ross King, Good Morning Britain, Los Angeles.